ho YouTube. Uh, just a quick video update on uh, my little Arduino-driven Sane Smart rover. Um, there's been some interest and in quite a few questions on uh, how to get these things to work and various other things, so I thought I'd pick this back up. I haven't been working on it much at all lately, but I think I changed quite a few things since last I made a video on it, so uh, I'll just take a quick run through of some changes and uh, maybe show the code where it's at. Uh, I've learned a lot on the code lately, so I think I'm going to optimize it and then I'll, I'll post it. I Lots of changes I want to make, but uh, it's not really a priority project right now. Anyway, so this is the rover the way it sits. It's got 3D printed brackets with the servo and that pivots for the ultrasonic distance measuring. Um, what I've done is the standard mounting of things. And uh, underneath, you'll note that there's a, a speaker there now. And I've swapped out the AA batteries for a 1 amp hour lithium polymer 7.4 volt battery. These things are real cheap on eBay. I got a bunch of them for various, uh, they work great for the Arduino product projects because they're really, really small. But it just so happens they power this rover a lot better. Uh, my perfect hold down method and beautiful wiring there. But uh, uh, yeah, maybe someday I'll get around to fixing it. I, I truly didn't intend on even working on this project, but anyway, um, that's pretty much the extent of it. What I did is, uh, I'll just turn it on. I'll put my hand here so that it doesn't take off across the bench, and it's going to back up. So each time it changes direction, the speaker talks, and on initial power up, you get the uh, initialization sequence. I just added that for the fun of it, but the the beeps on direction change and stuff helped me troubleshoot the code a little bit from a distance. I could tell uh, what state change I initially I, I assigned a couple of different tones, but I, I think I since maybe reverted that just to a single any time. Uh, I have to look at the code and see what I did, but uh, it's not real good for diagnostics now. Diagnostics, you just plug it into the serial port and uh, you can do it stationary on the bench without the motors driving. But that's the extent of it. Uh, it works pretty good. I'll see what it does. And so that's saw the oscilloscope and now it's going to try and turn and yeah, we'll kill it before it drives off the bench or something foolish. But uh, yeah, that's that's where it sits. Uh, it's a pretty neat little project, pretty fun. Uh, a lot of neat things you can do with it. You can see all the spare pins I have, tons of room to expand so far with just the motor drivers, the servo, the sensor, and the speaker is all I'm pretty much running off of it. So uh, yeah, I'll see about to uh, maybe take a quick spin through the code or just post this as, as a small update. Uh, yeah, I should really optimize the code. Um, one thing I found for anybody doing these projects, I have multiple PCs that I work on. This one, when I'm on the on the bench here, I stick with uh, a laptop for programming this. Um, and then when I'm upstairs and working on the flight simulator Arduino interfaces, I use a different PC. I found using Dropbox, set your uh, your save save your sketches to Dropbox, and you just synchronize them across PCs is so much easier and will allow me to share the code for the stone range instead of uh, by a P P uh, private message. So, Anyway, that's about it for now.